Shalom, everyone. I hope that you're doing absolutely fantastic. So I know that you can't see me. Uh, I'm going to get on here and do a reading here shortly. But I just wanted to share a little something. Yesterday, uh, and if you are new, welcome. I'm not churchy or religious or anything like that. But I'm spiritual, and I do believe in the living Elohim. And um, he's mighty on my channel because he exists, and he is with us. And I just like to get on my channel sometimes and share some things. And I do read out a scripture. And uh, anyway, your hope is just fantastic to me. But yesterday, uh, and I do keep covenant with Jehovah and keep the commandments and stuff like that. So if that's not something that you're looking for, then this is where we'll depart, I guess. Um, and then those of you who are returning, welcome back and happy birthday, happy anniversary and all that kind of stuff. I hope it's fantastic for you today. Yesterday, I sat down as I was connecting with the divine, and I, t I, I did an offline audio on one of my channels, and something kept coming out. The, the word red came out, the red door, or if you read that backwards, red deer, or however you want to say it. Uh, but red kept coming out, and I'd sit down uh, after that audio and picked um, a set of cards that I have and what came out was something about the moon and the earth and its phases and how the moon um, will go through this, these phases with the earth and uh, it will glow with a reddish color during the lunar eclipse and uh, I didn't think anything about it I just read the card whatever and then I shuffled again and came across another card where um, it was speaking about new stars being born in the heavens and there what I don't remember the name of what it was uh, what it named on the card but it stated that there's something out I guess in the galaxy that looks like a horse head but it, it is connected to new stars being born. And it had, it was speaking about uh, reddish colored things on that card as well. And uh, we know that the government now has shifted from the red side to the blue side where if you look at our flag, the stars are there. <laughs> And I got on the other day and stated how I got out of the shower and I heard the Jehovah say left, 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 right, left. And I gave that account of uh, what he had given me back in 2010 or 2011, whenever it was, that that great big German shepherd was on my left side walking. And uh, it was an official that I knew that it was an official there and it was walking beside me. And, uh, but the left side being the blue, we see those stars in the blue side of the flag and um, it's shifted and now new stars are being born. This morning I got up and I began to, well, let me go back, last, last night before I kind of was winding down to lay down. Um, I just happened to open the scripture. Now, I, I'm just telling you that I, I allow the Spirit to speak so expressively to me. I don't put him in a box, uh, but I do hear from the Spirit, and I let him speak in any way, shape, or form he wants to. He could have given me the message if I looked at my calendar and let me come across a couple of words or whatever he wanted to say. But I was lit, uh, open the scriptures. I love the scriptures. There's a lot there. And he, he was speaking about uh, Joseph and uh, how he was leaving the city to go to Judea uh, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. And it was speaking uh, there in, in parentheses. It stated that he was of the house of the lineage of David or the or David, if you want to say it that way. Um, and we know that Joe Biden is now the president. And this morning, and so I've, I've talked about how expressively, again, how the Spirit will speak to you and I. And there's something about us that Jehovah has put on his people um, 
to prove who we are in some way, shape, or form. And I listened to his speech last night, and I felt the shift in the spirit. And I felt so good on the inside for, and I'm going to call him my brother, um, to be up in that office. I felt the shift. Um, this morning, I opened to the book of John, and Yeshua was speaking to Nicodemus. <laughs> and... Uh, he answered Nicodemus when he when he came to him by night, by the way, and stars are born in the heavens, okay? And um, he come to Yeshua by night, and he was asking him about, um, give me just a second here, I'm going to try to find it. Uh, he said, Yes, he came, to, he came to Yeshua by night and he said to him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from Elohim. For no man can do these miracles that, that thou doest except Elohim be with him. That's right. We can't do anything without him. We must abide in the vine. Um, Yeshua answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born from above. And we got new stars being born, and that's amazing to me how Yehovah was just bringing all this out and literally, but but using it as uh, something so profound to confirm the presidency of the United States of America because he, he spoke it before we knew the answer he told me the other day when I got out. He actually told me back in 2010 about Joe Biden. I just didn't know about it until the other day when I got out of the of the shower and he spoke that the left was right. And, uh, and so that red and that blue is still there because left is right right now and new stars are being born in the country. And um, But this is a spiritual kingdom that you always uh, uh, setting up people this is the new government of Elohim and unless people be born of the spirit you ain't going to see Elohim you just ain't going to okay because you, Yeshua is stating to us except the man be born from above he cannot see the kingdom of Yehovah don't sit there like Nicodemus and say well how can this be how, how can this be? Can you be? Can a man be born and go through his mother's womb again? Uh, it's amazing. I won't get into this. Actually, there is something I could go into, but I'm, I'm not going to get off this. Uh, it, but Yeshua answered and he said, Verily I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Jehovah. you got to be baptized for one thing. Um, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. Well, we talked about the bond woman the other day and how the flesh is evident, right? And, uh, and so the spirit is also evident, people. It really is. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. He says, don't marvel that I said unto you that you must be born from above. The wind blows where it listeth and the and thou hearest the sound. You can hear it. You can hear the sound. You can hear it. You can hear it. It's a hearing it's a hearing people. and in, But you can't tell where it's coming from, but you can hear it. And um, and everyone that is born of the Spirit is like that. This is Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can, how can these things be? And, and Yeshua answered and said unto him, Art thou a leader of Israel? And knowest thou not these things? Verily I say unto you, that we speak that what we know and testify that we have seen and ye receive not our witness. And if I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up into heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which was in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man be lifted up that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For Jehovah so loved the world, and we know that the world lies in waste and wickedness, right? But Jehovah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not 
perish but to have everlasting life. Amazing to me because I got on here the other day and was talking about how I did a reading and I was looking at two sides of things and the camera that I was using, which is this phone that I'm talking about, uh, that I was using, it flips everything. So it would have appeared that the left was the right and the right was the left. And it was the same day I got out the shower after that reading and I heard left, 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 right, right, right left. And um, um, everything was turned there and... Um, um, and we had the death cards were on one side and the resurrection cards were on the other side and he wants us to have eternal life where we rise again rise again new stars being born right and and waking up um, I was going somewhere with that I totally got sidetracked here let me get a little drink of my coffee <laughs> Anyway, um, he's stating here that Jehovah sent his son into the world, people, that we might have life and be saved. And he that believes on him is not going to be condemned. I, I quote all the time on this channel that... Uh, uh, every tongue that rises up against us, we shall condemn it. And that is that is true. If people don't want to come into the light, they are already condemned. And that's exactly what Yeshua is also saying here. Um, he that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already. They're just already condemned. They don't want to believe on him. So it's because he has not believed in the name of, of the only begotten son of Jehovah. And the name is Yeshua, but Yeshua is Jehovah. Because <laughs> they were one. What else? And I was thinking of today, the letter in the living language of the Hebraic living language uh, is the letter Nun, meaning salvation as well. And I was, and I don't know where I'm going to go with this, but I, my mind went off on thinking about um, the midnight hour is still the the twelfth hour, right? And the noon is there still. It's just, and it's nighttime in the midnight hour, but the but the but the one and the two is still the same. Um, Something was going off in my spirit about the noon, meaning deliverance, meaning an heir to a kingdom, meaning a river. And Yeshua oftentimes speaks about uh, living rivers of water flowing through us. Uh, and yet he's speaking about being from the heavens. And there's new stars being born from the heavens, right? But yet there's water there as well. And water came from the heavens when the flood came. And a river will dump into the, river, into the ocean, right? Where you can also find starfish. <laughs> I won't get off on that, but my brain goes in all kinds of different directions spiritually. Uh, and I just get so moved by how the universe itself is so connected in such ways um, that it just, it, it, I don't know, I'm just blown away by the words that I read in scripture and how it literally gives life and hope. And um, there are new things coming for this nation. Because Jehovah said so, and he don't lie to me, and he don't lie to you if you know him. If you're born from above, you know it. You felt the shift. Uh, and Joe is, what I believe Jehovah was telling me, he is some way, shape, or form from the, from the lineage of David. And David had sure mercies. And I loved his speech last night because he is, he is somebody who wants to bring the nation into unity. And unless people come together and walk hand in hand, we will not thrive as a nation. It's time to get over. Well, I'm on this side and you're on that side. No, uh, we kick out the flesh, the people that don't want to come into the lot. 
and uh, and uh, get rid of that kind of stuff. They want to stay in darkness. They're condemned already because they, they, they love darkness. Uh, Yeshua said that um, these people that are already condemned, they won't come to the light because their deeds are evil, he says. They're evil, and we got to get the evil out. And uh, you, you and I can determine what is evil by what people do and how they respond by their character. Uh, people are going to do the right thing, especially where I'm concerned. I had hope today. Um, felt it in my spirit shift. Felt a new birth inside. Loved what I heard last night because Jehovah spoke it. Jehovah put him there. He really did put him there, people. And we must get behind our president and lift him up and let us bring this nation to a new birth. Okay? Let us let us be alive and not dead. Uh, let us go hand in hand and, and uh, do great and mighty works for the name of Jehovah. And let us let the river flow and um, let us shine. For you, hold up. I just wanted to share all that. I know that I had a couple of spots where my brain needed to kick in, and I hope it made sense. I just wanted to share it and to encourage people to get behind our president, don't care what side you're on. Either you are upright and you are born of the kingdom of the Most High, or you'll never come into the light and you're condemned and you're wicked because your deeds are nasty. Okay, it's time to get in the river and get cleaned up and be born again and uh, to be transformed now. And let us get up and do some work now in this nation and it's time for somebody to approach me it really is for the leadership uh, that Jehovah is setting up the officers in this country to come towards me now and uh, to to uh, set me free from this you know I love his name uh, Biden he buys those who have been in the den okay and uh, you have no idea what that feels like to be suppressed and uh, Joseph himself was put in a dungeon, but Jehovah raised him up and allowed him to rule right there, even in Egypt, amongst the people. Uh, and uh, there's just so much I could go on and on about the revelation where he, it, what Jehovah's given me for our leadership now and the shift that has occurred. And I just want to uh, applaud Joe Biden and, and let him know that I'm 100% 100 behind you. And I uh, support you. And I ask that you support me as well. And to help me. Thank you.